uh, new face plate adds uh, to uh, ten percent or plus twenty knowledge kinetic energy to the soundboard. <sighs> So this um, is the newest shipment from Pono, the ATCR, uh, one of the newer models. Um, I mean, it's a model that Pono's had before with the combination of a cedar top and acacia back and sides, but uh, now they come with the ebony faceplate and fingerboard um, and a rope rosette. And fresh impressions, I mean, they sound open right away. Um, so I like about satin. I don't know if it's like, sometimes I think cedar just has like a, the aged spruce um, type of tone. You know, back to the podcast episode number one, talk about that. Really? I think that was the cedar and spruce debate. Did you, did you, do you have like opinions on, on wood? Or uh, I okay. think I, I think I prefer a spruce top. And for um, what, for what choice, or why would you choose that choice? I just, um. I think the main reason was that I wanted some more clarity and more loudness so back in the day. But so let's see with the uh, spruce. So also on the shipment was the spruce top and acacia back and sides. So you got the same instrument here, um, but just with a different top, basically. Mm. So, so this you, one should have more clarity. For, for yeah. what, what for, you were, for, for like that your overall. Reference, yeah. Yeah. But this one is not as open. Yeah. Different. So that, uh, that's, is it more clear? Just a little bit. Little bit. Yeah. I think cedar is still still pretty clear. Like it's maybe brighter. That one has better clarity. Yeah. More, yeah. I think there's more clarity in this one, but there's more. Can I play back your phone? Resonance. Yeah. See, that's what I feel about cedar. Like, it, like it's already kind of aged. Yeah, okay. Never thought about that. It's a little bit softer than spruce, right? The, the wood cedar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Actually, I think they have like, the same kind of... Actually, the back is a little bit stiffer. Oh, yeah, it's so much more volume. volume this one. Like, it, it kind of just... Uh, the whole body resonates yeah, yeah. more, more so. With that one, it feels like it shoots out quicker or something. I don't know. That one has more resonance, it stays in the body, that has yeah. more projection yeah. outwards. Well, let's see what uh, all acacia one sounds like. I feel, like you can feel the resonance. I, w I wonder if it's like because the top is different. Or the wood can feel the... it too here. Oh, okay. No. But I still feel like this, I mean, it's stiffer on like the, the back. So from the same shipment, this is the all acacia. Um, the only difference now is instead of a spruce or cedar, you have the same wood as, as the back and sides. Acacia. And I feel like it's kind of, sounds pretty good. I feel like it's right in the middle. Yeah. Like it has both. The it's clarity. crazy. It's like, because it's still pretty, it still has a decent amount of clarity because the top is denser. But I don't Yes, oh, I'm yes, <laughs> This one is, you know, usually people say oh, acacia is brighter than, you know, it's, it's this is more mellow. naturally bright, but it is mellow on the mellow side. So when you say mellow, like, um, it's more rounded in the top. So spruce is the, the most, uh, what? It's bright. Bright, and yeah. then cedar. And then cedar, and then acacia? Yeah. As far as the. I think. There might be something in between too, but yeah, it's it's pretty, still pretty clear, but it has more mellow tone. It's kind of like the ukulele sound, like when yeah. you think of ukulele. It's like it's this. like you just turn the treble down in your EQ yeah. uh, from from spruce. Like you turn mm. up for spruce, down for acacia. <laughs> I think it's just a rounding of the top, uh, not as high. Yeah. Like so, just turn it down. Just I'm getting a, um, I'm EQ getting hints it. of uh, <laughs> kind of a citrus uh, kind of taste. Uh, more, uh, more of like a lemon, not quite summer. lemon, but like a tangerine. Lily coy. Pineapple. Well, a lot of people ask, what's the difference? Um, how mango sounds? Like you know, uh, maybe you formed up opinion about acacia and mahogany because that that seems to be like the more popular woods, mm. I guess. And an up-and-coming wood 
it seems like a lot of companies are using now is mango mm. which is so a lot of questions sense, come yeah. in like what does mango sound like so i guess Should we know what acacia sound like so this let's yeah mango, let's read i found like no, uh, it's I, the, I feel um, like it falls in between uh, this one? Yeah. both because i've, I've yeah. played some close. mango that sounds closer to acacia <coughs> and some that sound closer to mahogany so i feel like for the most part it sounds closer to acacia yeah, mango. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more bright actually. It is. Yeah. Com- like c- better clarity. A little bit more clearer. Com- this one. Is I feel like this acacia's on the warmer side. It's usually. But if you, you, yeah. It, this this is, one this has a little bit more clarity than, than this one, but that might be just because of the instrument. It's more high. Yeah. It's more. Oh, yeah. This one's not like, like I've played like really, really warm. Warm. Well, actually, this one's, it feels pretty like dense. It's still to the warm side, but compared to this one, I think this one is a little bit more bright. Oh, this just has more body to it, too, yeah. yeah. I like that. But this one, like, is like lighter, too. Yeah, might be it's like a light possible. set. Is acacia supposed to be more dense than mango? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a harder wood, but then... Forget. But um, mango is heavy. pretty heavy. Hot it can't be heavy, right? So, I mean, it's obvious that the the differences are pretty sub- subtle, but it's, it's one of those things where, you know, we play how many ukuleles a day even you know yeah, yeah. a lot of people sometimes don't get to try that many ukuleles in a, you know a couple of years mm. kind of come so, up with the general yeah so I, um, because we hear so so many ukuleles i think we start just picking up on the differences quicker cuz yeah. mm, we play them so much more often after and, uh, dealing with a lot of customers i feel for uh, the people i've spoken to it helped um, most people just like a loud instrument loudness is always winds volume. always and yeah. every kind of sound system. but then there's some people who are more sensitive to like ah it's loud but i don't like that it sounds, mm. sounds too too harsh brash yeah brash is that a word brass it's a word <laughs> brash abrasive I I'm, I'm not i heard abrasive one time i was like oh that's <laughs> so you want a more humble tone yeah sometimes you want more depth to it i guess it's a fun. Do we do game. it from the start? No, no, no. Just, I heard it go off like a, a little bit before I stood up. <coughs> oh, uh, what were we talking about? Acacia and mango. Density. Being. You said brash. He was asking if it was a word. Uh, is that did, did I? Brash is a word. Did harsh. You say harsh? harsh. I think harsh, harsh is a little bit more uh, easier. Assertive. Uh, no. so, uh, the tone is quite assertive. Okay, so we got, what do we got right now? We got Acacia, Mango, and then Tobias is grabbing Mahogany. Mellow. It's it's right in between two, I think. It's mellow side. Again, I never heard bright Mahogany before, which is cool. Uh, I like, that's what I like about Mahogany. It's a good point, yeah. Like, almost never have I heard Mahogany described as a bright no. sound. I mean, you're playing ukulele, which is a bright sound, <laughs> but as far yeah. as ma- mahogany... Compared to that one. Hmm. Are they kind of similar? Can I try? This one has a little bit more brightness to it. Yeah. But it's not too far. But this was the brightest, in I your think- opinion. Uh, This also illustrates the build has so much of an effect over oh, the yeah. time too. Like you can change the wood up, but these are all the same specs, same mm. build and everything, mm. and we're having trouble picking out the nuances. But I figured out why. Ah, the ah. shaker lady. Oh, this one's like taped in. Oh, that's an extra ten dollars for that. That's a. Uh... All right, we should do a sample. Who wants to pre- who wants to be the test dummy here? Um, 
to close the eye, close their eyes and and see if they could. Oh, oh, someone else will hand it. Then I need to play the first. Try this one. This is more mellow, and then. Okay, you ready? Uh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, close okay, your eyes. Okay. okay, we're just gonna shuffle it around. Oh, do I play here yep. now? Yep, Mr. Chapp. Is it A? Mango. B. Mahogany. C. Acacia. Or D. I think Nothing. it's the mango. <laughs> okay, just keep your eyes closed. Yeah, okay. Couldn't really determine whether that was. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is the brighter one. Uh, so it could be. It's not the mahogany, mahogany, so it must be. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is. Uh, unfortunately, it is the mahogany. Ah, <laughs> <dang>. <laughs> oh, but unfortunately, Corey Peter prank and he gave you it twice. I gave you the same. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that Seriously? was that wasn't fair. We're trying to actually yeah. do it. But, oh, uh, you prank. But then me what's weird too is like I was like right, right when I was saying right when I was saying is like good. I never heard bright mahogany, but then I heard that I was like wait this is kind of bright. Yeah. Close your eyes. Was this it's exactly the same model? Yeah. Wow. But but that was that was because Corey's uh Solar. Controller. Yeah. Because technically <laughs> we're supposed to give you a new one, so yeah. Yeah. obviously you would think. Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. We got self-control, right? <laughs> now you open them. I thought you played oh, the close them. Well I didn't see I didn't look at you directly. <laughs> and I have bad peripherals. I thought you did the X-Men theme. Awesome. Because I did like psych... psych clops. Clops. Was tap this the mango? Back. I think you need to tap the back. You can't guess before you play it. Was this mango? That's your guess. Okay. Next one. Is this the same uke? No. Nope. <laughs> I promise. We didn't do that prank on you. We're not evil. This is the mango one. Okay. Okay, yes. next one. Oh, this is a Keisha one. Maybe not. Oh, it feels, it feels... Okay. What is that? Is this uh, a Keisha? Yep. You got the first one wrong. Mahogany first. Like it's then weird because then they're so close together. You got Mingo right though. So technically mm. you kind of got the first one right if you didn't count your first guess. Huh. Mm. Yeah, because you're like, this is the Mingo. Although you said Mingo twice. Got it though. Well, let me play these back to back. <laughs> oh, this one's a little bit louder. Yeah. That one's like heavy. But it has more brightness to it. Than yeah. <laughs> So as you can see, it is quite hard to really just go right off of your ears. I mean, like, you know, like, uh, trying so many will lead you to what it's what you think it's going to be around and stuff like that. But to be so confident to where, you know, you're going to say, like, mango always sounds this way, mahogany always sounds, it's, it's not the case. Yeah, like, it can be, like, everything falls into ranges. Yep. Mm. So don't get too picky on it. Uh, uh, well maybe get picky on what you want but as far as the rule of spruce equals bright or um, mahogany equals mellow it's crazy because then there's different types of spruce yeah that's uh, adirondack yeah. 
And you could also, I guess you could build spruce more mellow than it usually is. And you could build uh, koa more bright than it usually is. Yeah. yeah Depending on the bracing too. Yeah, bracing. A lot thinner, of factors. It's yeah. the thinner top, it's going to mm. sound a lot more open right off the bat. So I think... And then the strings. I've, strings. Seen, I've seen a few comments where people don't quite understand terminology like bracing what is it what does that mean um so there's pieces of wood inside of the instrument which chopsticks yeah it looks like chopsticks it's made of spruce uh, most of the time because it's it's uh has structural integrity and is very lightweight so when you use bracings you don't want to use a heavy bracing because that could weigh down the instrument and kill the tone or if you have an eight string or something like that, you're gonna want certain heavier bracing. Yeah, to um, accommodate for the higher tension on the bridge. Yep. So that's why I guess depending on the build, it's one thing. To, depending on the wood, it's another. But so like if you actually look in the instrument, yeah, you can see. I mean, everybody, I'm pretty sure they've seen it before. There's different types of bracing that can sound good. And but yeah, yeah. so we just uh, you know compared them and. I don't think there's an overall winner of the best sound. Um, please don't ask us that question because it's such a hard, it's such a loaded question. What's the best sound? It just, it just feels like it shouldn't it's be subjective. asked. Because then, like, like, I think what's crazy is like the way we sat in this order is like you like more of a brighter sound. I like more <laughs> of a darker. Yeah. Like my skin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we can cut that out. So, I mean, I'm second dark. <laughs> yep. Pretty close. Yeah, yeah I, I'm all red right these days. <laughs> but uh, what was I saying? Don't ask us. Yeah, don't don't ask us. <laughs> don't. There is no best. Um, even remember talking with Mandy. Like, right up to oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like so. Because if you ask me, does it sound good? Of course, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I think I think the store is not gonna sell any ukes that sounds bad. We don't sell bad sounding ukes. So. Is there a bad sounding you? Yeah. What would a bad sounding you be? Ooh. Boy. <laughs> well, that's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I guess the ones that don't stay in tune would be a bad. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess. But as far as tone, that's all subjective. Any if it stays ukulele in tune, can be a bad ukulele in the wrong hands. <laughs> it also depends what you want to do. It also depends on your attitude. If your attitude is bad, then every you is bad. <laughs> yeah, clothing. You come out with a bad pants attitude, that tone is gonna suffer. Exactly. Well, guys, um, I think that's it for now. We'll be back with more stuff. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna go. Doo -doo. Slow. Once you learn the slow version, you can try to improvise around the melody, something like...
Something like that. 